2 troubleshooting. This video provides step-by-step -step instructions for troubleshooting a Callisto 2 online DGA monitor. After viewing this video, you should be able to diagnose problems and repair or replace parts if necessary. Unit Error Codes and Messages If the unit is not working, the error code will appear on the display screen and the error message will appear on the Callisto Manager status window on the Error tab. The possible errors, as well as the recommended troubleshooting steps, are as follows. Error 0001 External fan. This error occurs when the temperature of the heat sink exceeds 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit and the external fan is not working. In such cases, the fan is either disconnected or has stopped working. Verify that the fan is truly not working. If it is running, its tachometer is defective or not connected properly. Turn off the Callisto. Check that the connector's male and female pins are in good contact and that the connectors are clean and in good condition. If not, clean and or repair them. Check the fan's external power supply. Unplug the fan and using a multimeter, Check that there are 13.5 volts direct current between pins 1 and 3 of the Callisto's female connector. If there are not between 13 and 13.5 volts direct current between pins 1 and 3 of the connector, please contact Morgan Schaefer. Ensure that the external fan is properly connected. Turn off the Callisto. Unplug the fan's connector and ensure that it is clean and in good condition. If not, clean and or repair it. Reconnect the connector, ensuring that it is fully engaged and locked. Restart the Callisto. If the error persists after five minutes, the fan must be replaced. Replace the fan. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Loosen the fan's four captive screws. If necessary, use a flat screwdriver to release the fan from the Callisto. Unplug the Callisto fan's connector. Set aside the old fan and prepare the new one. Connect the power supply for the new fan, ensuring that it is fully engaged and locked. Place the fan in position taking care not to trap its wires. Manually tighten the fan's four screws. Complete the tightening using a flat screwdriver. Restart the Callisto. If the problem persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Errors 0004, 0008, 0400 4000 Detection Cell. Please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Two parts may need changing following a problem related to these errors the main I.O. or the gas detection cell. Changing the main I.O. Before handling electronic cards, be sure to put on an anti-static wristband. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Open the Callisto's door. Unplug all of the cables that are connected to the main I.O. Loosen the six screws that are holding the main I.O. without removing them completely. Remove the main I.O. with its support plate by carefully lifting the assembly before pulling on it. Completely remove the six screws and apply a drop of thread lock before replacing them 
without tightening them completely. Place the new main I.O. in the same location using the slots. Secure the card in place using the six screws. Reconnect all of the cables in their places. The cable's position is indicated on the cable as well as on the card itself. Close the door and firmly tighten each of the two hinge screws. Restart the Callisto. If the problem persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Change the gas detection cell. Before handling electronic cards, be sure to put on an anti-static wristband. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Open the Callisto's door. Loosen the two captive screws on both sides of the cell. Gently lift the cell, keeping it horizontal. Unplug the two connectors of the flat cable behind the cell. Dispose of the old cell and prepare the replacement cell. Reconnect the two connectors of the cell's flat cable. Install the new cell by gently inserting the inlet tube in the gas extraction chamber's inlet. Tighten the cell's two captive screws to attach the module. Close the door and firmly tighten each of the two hinge screws. Restart the Callisto. If the problem persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Error 2000. Analog input. This error occurs when the analog input is not properly connected or is not working. Before handling electronic cards, be sure to put on an anti-static wristband. Check the current in the 420 milliampere circuit using a multimeter. Check the connections relative to the 420 milliampere input pin. Check whether the 420 milliampere generator is working. If the entry panel needs to be replaced, follow these steps. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Open the Callisto's door. Disconnect all of the cables and wires that are connected to the entry panel. Remove the seven screws that are holding the card in place. Gently pull on the electronic card so that you can unplug the cables behind it. Disconnect the two Ethernet cables, the USB cable, as well as the 40 position connector. Completely remove the old electronic card and replace it with the new one. Reconnect the two Ethernet cables, the USB cable, as well as the 40 position connector. Replace the entry panel. Tighten the seven screws holding it in place, adding a drop of thread lock on each screw. Reconnect all of the communication cables that were removed from the entry panel beforehand. Close the door and firmly tighten each of the two hinge screws. Restart the Callisto. If the problem persists, please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Error 8000, oil flow. This error occurs when the oil flow falls below a predefined level. Check that all valves are open, transformer and Callisto. Take an oil sample using the Quick Connect oil sampling tube and check the oil's viscosity. If these items are in order, please contact Morgan Schaefer for assistance. Display on the door is off or defective. If the Callisto's display is off or incoherent, there is a problem related to the display or the power source. Before opening the Callisto, be sure to put on an anti-static wristband. Open the Callisto's door. Check whether the LEDs are working normally. That is, 
the power LED is on, the cell's I.O. card LED is on, the central unit's LED is flashing. If this is the case, check that the flat cable connecting the display to the main I.O. is properly connected at both ends. If these items are in order, the door needs to be replaced. Check that the electrical supply to the Callisto is present and sufficient. Connect a multimeter between pins 1, L positive, and 2, N negative, of the main I.O.'s TB1 connector. The voltage must be between 100 and 240 volts alternating current, or 100 and 220 volts direct current. If this is not the case, ensure that the Callisto is supplied by a power source between 100 and 240 volts alternating current, or 100 and 220 volts direct current. Check the switch's power supply. Connect a multimeter between pins 6 and 4 of the TB1 connector. The voltage must be between 100 and 240 volts alternating current or 100 and 220 volts direct current. Connect a multimeter between pins 5 and 3 of the TB1 connector. The voltage must be between 100 and 240 volts alternating current or 100 and 220 volts direct current. If this is not the case, the switch must be replaced. Check the power supply of the power pack. Connect a multimeter between pins 1 and 2 of the TB2 connector. The voltage must be between 100 and 240 volts alternating current or 100 and 220 volts direct current. If this is not the case, check the condition of the fuses. Check the power pack. Connect a multimeter between pins 1 and 2 of the J11 connector. The voltage must be stable and between 13.25 and 13.75 volts direct current. If this is not the case, the power pack is defective. Please contact Morgan Schaefer. Check that the fuses are functional. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Check the continuity of the fuse, F1, using a multimeter. Connect a multimeter between pins 3 and 4 of the J2 connector. There must be continuity between the pins. If the fuses are defective, they must be replaced. Replacing the door. Turn off the Callisto and close its circuit breaker. Unplug the connector from the flat cable directly connected to the display. Using a quarter-inch nut driver, loosen the screw while holding the ground cable connecting the door to the Callisto unit in place. Set the screw and the locking washer aside. Remove the defective door by pulling it upward. Put the replacement door in place. If necessary, use some commercial grease on the door hinges. Reinstall the ground cable, ensuring that it is facing upward. Place the locking washer and tighten the screw using a quarter-inch nut driver. Add a drop of thread locker on the dowel. Reconnect the display's flat cable. Close and lock the door. Restart the Callisto. If these troubleshooting tips did not resolve the problem, please contact Morgan Schaefer Technical Support. This video was produced by Morgan Schaefer. Morgan Schaefer. Accuracy is everything.